I'm open. <laughs> oh my Go God, ahead. no. All right, I'm open. Good morning. How you doing? How much is your uh, baseball stuff? I'd probably do like 10 bucks each for the bats. 10 each on the bats? I also have this. Gotta move this down here. Oh, okay, cool. What are you asking for that? Yeah, yeah. I'm asking about 45. 45 for this? Yeah. What about the uh, hit trainer things? Uh, we can do probably about five each on those. Five each on those? Yeah. You have any gloves? Uh, what kind are you looking for? Any of them, really. It's got TI 84 up on the table. Get it? $75. What is this 12 and a half inch? Okay. Like a pitcher's. This is a middle infielder. Okay. This is a 12 and three quarter inch outfield. Okay. I think what is this? A oh, gold yeah. glove gamer? Tell you what, let's make a deal. The three gloves, the bats, and this will be their best price. Eighty-five. The black glove, I think, retails for about a hundred. Okay. How about sixty bucks? Did you do sixty? I'll go in the middle and do seventy. All right. Let's do it. There you go. Thank right. you, sir. You're welcome. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. What are you asking for this? What's that? What are you asking for this? Uh, 50. 50 bucks. Yeah. Looks pretty clean. It barely been used. Didn't get a lot of use, yeah. Yep. How much are the bats? Uh, 25 piece. 25 each? Yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Can't seven? Yeah. Two. The other thing is checking for dents and cracks. They look like they're in pretty decent shape, does it? Yeah, I think so. Um, so major issues? Not yet. These four. Maybe try to make a deal on those. Four? Yeah. You do 60 on these four right here? How about 80? How about 70? We got a deal. Take them. All right, cool. Do you like 70? Uh, four of them. How much are you asking for the upstairs? Uh, $2. $2? Yep. Would you do three for five? Sure. Okay. You don't want any of these? No, just these. The silver ones are kind of cool. Yeah, but I want them to match ours. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep, thank you. I have not. I feel like that would be a good thing. Just light up. Ma'am, how much are these things right here? We've got white is 25 <laughs> and I'll take 10 for the gumball machine. Okay, I'm going to buy them both. I'm going to okay. set them here if that's okay. Absolutely. And I'll keep looking around. Absolutely. This works. 
This light bulb is blown, but you just take the front cover off okay. to change it. My dad actually made that. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah, he made it for my son. Now my son's 17 and 17 year olds. Yeah, that is anything. awesome. You do 20? I'll do 20. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And, and what are you asking for the Playmobil train stuff? Or I would take 25 for the whole box. Like, for the whole box? For the whole like box. There are two boxes. My There's a the track and the, the, the train and the people. So, all so both stuff. of those boxes. You see this? John, what about little lighters for your antiques? Do they sell? I don't think so. Yeah, that's a good find. Oh, cool. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. How much are your Barbies? Uh, the dolls are 10 and then there's a, a whole box of ornaments that are 5 each. Okay. Thank you. Right here, she bought the letter. Okay. How about your um, hats and your lighters? What are you asking on these? I'll take a dollar a piece for the lighters. Okay. How much for your hats? Uh, a dollar a piece on those two. Okay, and then how about your bike down here? I'll take five bucks for that. That was mine when I was a baby. Oh, very cool. Okay, so <laughs> right? I, uh, 25 and 5 is 30. 10 is 40. Got four hats is 44. And then there's 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Perfect. I don't think I could have planned that. I know, I was going to say that's an even number. Do you have a bag I could yeah, throw everything in? I was going to say, if you bought the bag, you can put them in that. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Did you? Yeah. That's cool. Yes, the gumball machine was mine when I was a kid, and so was that little bike. Thank you. You're welcome. There's the money. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. These are so cute. Here you go. Get your Bengals jersey. Who's that? Still? Still? Oh. Who's that? I don't know. I heard a kitty still. Was that oh, LSU gear? Yeah. <laughs> Add that to them. Hi, y'all. Hi. How you doing? Can we make a big pile of stuff? Yeah. And fine. then just work out a deal? And the bigger the pile you make, the better. <laughs> okay, cool. Some more furniture up here, and there's a couch inside that you're more than welcome to look at. I'm going to make a pile over here. Okay, sounds good. About 50 for it. Can you do 60? Can you do 60? Yeah, that's a good one. Can you take it off for 60? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Am I right? Or am I right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, add it to the pile. Over there. We're making a big pile. 
I don't know what those are. We can stick it on the side. Um, what kind of price could you give us for everything? <laughs> so that, the dress can just be like 25 cents, so we're just trying to get rid of it. You hold on to that. Things, so. And then 25, 20, 3, and I didn't see a price on these. Daniel. I'm telling you, I want everything out of here. That's all him. I have okay. no idea. Babe, that's going to replace that painting. Yeah. I'm open. <laughs> oh my God, no. All right, I'm open. How much for the snowboard boots? Oh, five bucks for a snowboard boots. Okay. Um, how about like forty dollars for this stuff here? Is that good? Yep, perfect. Yep. Thank you. Wait, did you just buy that football? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take this. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank good you. luck with everything. Do you want those uh, shin guards too? You can just take them if you want. Sure. Yeah. Guards. Thank you. Yeah. Grab the shin guards. Appreciate it, guys. Hey guys, it is now Monday morning. I got so much good stuff Saturday. We went garage selling Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and. Saturday was by far the best day. I think for me and for Lonnie, we both just got a lot of really good stuff. I normally load everything into my office space that I just found, but it's kind of a mess right now from all the Thursday and Friday finds. So I just put it in here for now. I'm gonna try to organize that a little bit and then I'll move all this over there. But for now I've got it here and I'm gonna show you what I found. I got a sealed Scrabble game. Um, they had $3 on it, but this was at the sale where I just bundled a bunch of stuff together and we gave them 40 bucks. So I probably got a dollar into that. I got this uh, Techniques amplifier that I dug out of uh, like a shed. And I don't know if it works or not. I think I only paid $5 for it though. Um, I also dug this out of a barn at that place. Um, Kelly Copier for Polaroid cameras. I don't know what it is, but it was cheap enough. I got some Miami Dolphins hats. Pretty good ones too, I think. Let's see. That is Anco is the maker. Here's another one. These are all a dollar each. Um, Anco. I don't know if that's a good name or not. I've never heard of it. That's just NFL branded. Let's see here. Athletic Cap Company. And this one is Logo Athletic. That's a pretty good uh, brand for hats. So I'm thinking I should get 15 to 20 a piece for these. That bill's kind of crooked. That's not too good. I got a bunch of lighters at one sale. I think there's like five or six of them total. They were all a dollar each. And let's see, this one's ASR. I think this one's a Ronson. No, it doesn't say. So yeah, the price was right. That's kind of a cool design. This is ASR. That is Omsco Light. I don't think I've ever heard of that. These should bring, you know, $10, $15 a piece, something like that, I'm thinking. And this one right here is a... Ronson. It's a Veriflame. Kind of a slick looking lighter. I've never seen that one before. Pretty clean too. With the original case, that might bring a little bit more money. Got a Sony Handycam um, at the one sale. He was asking 10. I think I might have got it for five. I can't remember now to be honest. Uh, but it does have the charger right here. So I'll be able to give that a really good test. This tote is full of all that Playmobil train stuff. I got two totes of that stuff for $25. I got a singing Christmas tree for $2. Figure with Christmas coming up, that should do pretty well. I got these Solomon snowboard boots at the one sale. A little dirty. They're going to need cleaned up. Like some dog hair or something in there. Um, yeah, these, these should also do pretty well with winter coming up. It's kind of a good time to be selling that stuff. Um, there's the other tote of the Playmobil train stuff. Got some Bauer hockey skates. Got a good amount of baseball stuff Saturday. I got this uh, Skills uh, Swing Trainer. Three gloves that are actually a little bit higher end gloves. I paid $70 for three gloves, two bats, and this Skills Trainer. And they should bring some good money. This is a Rawling Sandlot glove that should sell for about $40. Then I've got a Rawlings Gold Glove Legend that I think will sell for about... 60 or 70 and then i got a rawlings gold glove gamer with this trapeze style webbing that i think will sell for 70 to 80. the bats i did not look up um they're composite so i thought they would do pretty well uh, this is an easton s500 and this is a marucci one i'm not even going to try to guess values on these because i haven't sold similar ones of these in a while so i'll have to look those up 
Um, here's a couple odds and ends I pulled out of that bar, a little radio, some 8-track sealed tapes. Got this big dinosaur for $5. I had the same one three or four months ago, and it took a little while to sell, but it did sell, and it brought like 40 or 50 bucks. The problem with these is they're so big, and they take a huge box, which means the buyer's going to have to pay a lot of money to ship it. And that definitely slows down how fast it'll sell, but... For that price, it was hard to go wrong. It was really clean, and she even turned it on and showed it was working and everything. So I'm like, for five bucks, I'll definitely buy it. This is probably the coolest find I had all day. This is, I think it's an old radiator grill off of a Ford, and then they added lights to it and made it into a shelf. I paid 25 for that. I'm either going to put it in my antique booth or put it on Facebook Marketplace and maybe ask $75, $100, something like that. I got this gumball machine at the same sale as that shelf. I paid 10 bucks for that. That's definitely going to the antique booth. And then coming down here, I got some nice hockey gloves uh, for $2. Um, Hespeller 5500. Really clean. I mean, most of the time when I see hockey gloves, the palms are like torn out. You know what I mean? Just from so much wear. But I don't think these got that much use because, I mean, they're really, really clean gloves. Um, I'm thinking at least $20 or $30 on those. And they had a vintage Cooper SK2000 hockey helmet for a dollar. Keep an eye out for old Cooper helmets because they bring some serious money. There's a version of this that sells for like $100 plus. This one I think would typically bring $50 to $75, but I just noticed this crack right here. See that damage? So that's a little unfortunate. Um, yeah, there's damage over here too. So. I'll definitely be selling this as is. I'm going to point out the damage. But to a collector, I think it still would go for $30 or $40. And I've only got a dollar into it. So it's kind of hard to go wrong there. Here are some hockey shin guards. Uh, the guy just threw in at one sale. And a little play school, like a uh, little kid's bike. Probably from the 70s if I had to guess. I think I paid 5 for that. And that's going to go to the antique booth too. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.